The wait is finally over. We are one day away from Apple September 2021 keynote event. This is your final iPhone 13 leaks and iPhone 14 concept model. Without further ado, let's dive into the specs and whatever you can expect in one video. This is AP Tech. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, we do tips and strategies and also tech related news like this one. So if this fits your bubble, consider subscribing. Okay, by far and the most important change to expect on iPhone 13 line is the camera. iPhone 13 and iPhone mini are both said to be using the same camera sensor on iPhone 12 and iPhone 11, but the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max are getting a brand new sensor and this is where they differ uh, from current iPhone 12 Pro Max. With the new sensor, iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max will be able to capture up to 40% more light than the iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max. This is where it has a significant change in the camera compartment. This is a massive improvement from one year to another, especially on iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. I am honestly excited for this, which means iPhone will be a close rival to its competitor like Samsung, Xiaomi, and many others. And this is due to enhanced low light image quality. Since Apple has one of the best image processing algorithm in the business, I am confident iPhone 13 will not disappoint us, even though they have a smaller sensor compared to Samsung, Xiaomi, and many others. iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max will also have improved image stabilization, which means it will be both handy for videos and photo for sharpness. Unfortunately, this feature will not be available on iPhone 13 and the mini. Obviously, Apple is pushing consumer to go for the higher priced iPhones. Pro model will have the biggest improvement in the wide aperture that can capture more light and improved autofocus. So we expect to have up to 40% as I said previously, which is aperture of 1.8. The f1.8 aperture will give you more DSLR look, which blurs out the background and brings the object more to light. The second biggest change is the display. As most of you already know that it's getting two big upgrades, 120 Hertz and always display on that we have been waiting for too long. Other phones introduced 120 Hertz over four years ago, and Apple has now decided to catch up with their competitors. Again, this feature is not confirmed on iPhone 13 and mini if it would have always display and 112 Hertz refresh rate. Having 112 Hertz refresh rate means everything will be nice, more fluid when swiping up, down and sideways, like the most recent Redmi Note 10 Pro we have reviewed on this channel and link will be below should you wish to watch this video. iPhone 13 Pro will also have something called adaptive refresh rate and this means that it will downscale itself depending on what content that you're using. This will help the battery life. The third biggest change to expect is the battery life and all iPhones will get in a slight boost energy. Combining a bigger battery and A15 chip, which is improved efficiency, we could see the best battery life ever on iPhone generation. We will be testing them out in this studio once we have one on hand. The iPhone 13 will also have a faster charging, which is 25 watts from the current 20 watts. Unfortunately, the design will not be much change starting with the notch receiving a minor shave compared to earlier rumors that the notch was expected a significant smaller and it was illustrated in uh, some of the models. Of course, I prefer no notch and a touch ID underneath the display, but this is too wishful from Apple at this stage iPhone 13 are rumored to be a slightly thicker than the 12 and this is largely due to the larger batteries. And finally, iPhone 13 Pro Max will have the option to upgrade up to one terabyte for shoot load and Face ID is getting a, a lot faster, more accurate from side views. And this will basically recognize the user from partial face such as wearing glasses and face mask. Although we are getting at the end of the pandemic, fingerprints reader is more appropriate for this. Well, you have just made it to the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you drop a hashtag iPhone 13 in the comment, I will give you a thumbs up as I know you're still here. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications on so you don't miss out the next upload. Can you also follow me over Instagram? Until next time, peace out.